Hello and greetings. My name is Shwa and I am the host and founder of a podcast called Light Up with Shwa. It's a weekly podcast on conscious living and parenting. Thank you for watching part 1 with Sadi Atif. I hope you have enjoyed so far and have subscribed to the channel and are sharing. This is part 2 with her. Enjoy. views that the government should have you know check and balance mm. and people were so offended on my dad statement that what do you mean by check and balance yeah what do you mean by check and balance okay that um, as i introduce myself that i am registered behavior technician so registered be- uh, behavior technician mean that i have my credential and we can go on the bcb uh, bscb board certified analyst uh, behavior we can go on that side and every uh, person who is going to check anyone can check my credential over there mm. so i am you know proper credential holder mm. for example in us if you are going uh, to you know check the best best for your child if you are looking for bcb if you are uh, looking for rbts you will just go on that side and you will um, click on a uh, research button and you will add your state and your you know location and everything and they will give you a list of all the orbits that are present in that area hmm. and now in lahore in pakistan the people are having awareness of this that they have to go on the site and they have to check check about the active and the current hmm. orbits that that is also education so that they, they know where to go and it's not a fake place because if you are not trained into this if you are not authorized to practice something then how can you are you know into this practice and you are just doing experiments on this kid yeah. you can you cannot do morally yeah. you cannot do yeah, exactly. ethically morally and ethically yes that's, that's important wow sadia i'm really very happy to be talking to you because it's really a nice <laughs> feeling and i am very appreciative of you to take out time because this is so important from many levels for our pakistanis mm. also don't know that we have such hard working and genuine people who are trying to make a difference on a very grassroots level this is a very basic yeah, level you are not a, a government employee you are not a running a government institute right you are doing you, this is your own effort so this should be very much supported and i i hope to uh, take this uh, to a level that uh, or bring this voice uh, to uh, people of pakistan and our government that they should pay attention to this area as well yeah that is the need of the time yeah. uh, like uh, you have uh, talk about the government and the part of the government as well so government on their part maybe they are you know they are granting some fund and they are uh, giving mm-hmm. financial aid mm. um, to you know different ngos mm-hmm. but there is no check either uh, those people who are deserving they are getting it or they are not getting it mm-hmm. either the fund are reaching to them mm. or they are not reaching to them mm. Mm. so that is you know something i am very much concerned about it for example uh, we can have um, such kind of cards uh, the disability cards i will say i will add into it that uh, we can have those cards um, only allocated uh, to the parents or to the child mm. Mm. other than just to give the fund to the ngos because the ngos i don't know whether they are facilitating the parent they are facilitating the child or not yeah. can you suggest that uh, because you have been in this for 6 years i would encourage you to have a plan that you propose to the government what they can do not that you are trying to get something from them alone but how can this uh, be um, made sure that people are trained what is the procedure that they can find out or what is the training available in pakistan or you would you import something to be trained or send people as you have been trained and come back what is the way that government you go because government if let's say they are not thinking how can mm-hmm. you give them a proposal to mm-hmm. bring this about in a authentic genuine check and with the check and balance way do you do you think that you can uh, put yeah, something that together that is a very good that is a very good suggestion but you see sure that this is not a one man show yes. i always add into this because this is not a one man show this is not um, only the battle of a person mm-hmm. we have to collaborate into this mm. the family should be involved 
Mm. The parent should be involved and then, you know, I can proceed further or we can mm. proceed further. Mm. Mm. Um, like in uh, UK or in US, it at least uh, you cannot label the child at the age of two years. You, can, uh, you cannot label the child at the age of uh, 18 months. They just wait. They wait for the proper evaluation. They uh, wait for the proper, you know, diagnose. But in Pakistan, unfortunately, what the uh, practitioners are uh, doing that um, if the parents are going to them and for the sake of only admission, to take the admissions only, they say that, oh, I can see the signs of autism. I can see the signs of speech delay. On the very first observation, how can you could uh, um, conclude that the child is suffering from autism or the child is suffering from a speech delay or the child is suffering from a social communication disorder? There is a proper procedure and the parents should educate themselves before going to such, you know, quacks. I must add into this that uh, because they are they are not doing something into the favor of the child mm -hmm. that is not beneficial for the child. Okay. But we have to increase our patience as well. Mm -hmm. Being a parent, I do understand. Being a sibling, I do understand that uh, we lose our patience a lot of times. But we have to, you know, develop our mm -hmm. patience. We have yep. to develop our tolerance first yep. of all. Yep. Thank you. Uh, after that, we can go to, uh, you know, different forms and we can uh, forums and we can educate them. Mm -hmm. First of all, the education begins at home. Mm -hmm. First of all, we have to educate ourselves. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. right. If okay. we are, you know, getting irritated by our own children, by our own child, then how can I will be able to heal another child? Yes, exactly. If I have an empty cup or I have an empty glass how can I will fill your cup I yep. will never fill that that's true very good because example. my own is you know mm. my own is empty that's right so is there uh, any suggestion for mothers uh, specifically not for neurodiverse or typical just for everybody because you did mention that we should spend more time with children right now what does that mean right that uh, if people want to work women want to work mm -hmm. so where should they leave their children like it's a very difficult balance what do you think those who are taking care of children shouldn't they be also educated so that they can take care of their children see Shwa, there is a difference between uh, to do a job just for the sake of earning yeah and to do a job for the sake of just time pass or I am going somewhere and I am doing something if I have switched into my field my kids were school going they were going to school now when I am home my children are at home mm -hmm. I have no driver I have no one to look after them because I am taking care of them myself I never believe I never trust on anyone except them myself and my husband because they are our children secondly uh, oh, so you don't have any nanny, uh, not nanny, sorry, uh, na, uh, nanny, ya koi kaam, uh, this uh, worker or helper or... Uh, I do have, okay. I do have part-time workers, but mm -hmm. at that time I am at home. Okay, with not on them, not the le workers, leave them. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 not at all, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> you have to, you know, a proper communication, a healthy communication with your children as well. And if you are leaving them on the you know, maids and on the therapist, mm -hmm. that will never work. That mm -hmm. will never work. It will weak the bond. It will weak the, you know, um, the relationship between of you and your child. Yes. Is there a probability that if you are, because you are an expert, right? You are a practitioner. So is there a tendency that you become over observant or over uh, um, uh, watchful of your children? Um, not in that sense. Uh, how would but, you check uh, yes, yourself? To, uh, <laughs> to some extent. Yes. Uh, like um, whenever I see the behaviors of the neurodiverse children and I see the behaviors of my own children, I can, you know, um, sometimes I give margin to my own children. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, you know, train the parent to give margin of the neurodiverse children as well. Because these children, you know, they are human beings. Yes. Of course, they need some time for their own selves Extra. as well. Mm. Uh, all the time, I cannot glue myself to them. Mm. But 
they should be in your supervision mm-hmm. they should be you you should observe them what your child is doing or not for mm-hmm. example my uh, you know son he is very fond of instagram mm-hmm. he has an instagram account but on my mobile mm-hmm. so i can see what uh. his messages you know they are, he, how he is doing and how he is receiving the messages uh, there is a this is a kind of check okay. so you are training the children uh, you try your best what you're doing what are they capable at this stage uh, i think you would like this uh, question that what is their future right this is uh, one of your concerns that what is the future of the children that you are training and helping what is their well, future well if, if i talk about them then i am only uh, concerned about their future for example we are posting on facebook and uh, we are you know making publicity that we are giving advertisement that we are doing vocational training mm-hmm. yes we are doing but what after that where they will go after that what we have the after plan for them where they will go you mean by for work how, how they will, will they survive? survive or sustain themselves yes, yes. Yeah. So, so that is a big question mark on that that how they will do on you know uh, if i i will talk about myself then i am educating my my students mm-hmm. um for the internships mm-hmm. in uh, some of a very uh, well known malls um happily and uh, you know I, i must add fortunately that they are getting agreed on this point that they will Uh, offer internship to our students as well so maybe that will be a positive change very Here good mashallah very start, nice very nice i can start you know this is a very little step i yeah. know but every step by step you will move on to your nearby your destination because that is part of the education and awareness you're talking about that to tell the yes. institutes to take these children to do the internship so they can sustain themselves so yes. uh, can you tell uh, till what age you train the children and then you also are doing vocational training that's a lot uh, till the age uh, till the age of 18 mm-hmm. uh, like we are uh, giving uh, them training because before 18 you know that uh, this is not uh, legal and uh, it will come under uh, child labor and all that mm-hmm. so till the age of 18 we are um, giving them tra- uh, trainings about the vocational training the concept of the shop and mm-hmm. uh, some related concepts mm-hmm. as well oh about i will money i will take your uh, uh, videos and pictures of your uh, projects yes, that you please. teach uh, please do send me yes. and i will add that for our audience so they can see yes. the whole picture of what your practice and what you do Definitely. and how can we yeah. support you in this um sure nobody is perfect i am not perfect at all but if i will you know play the little part at my own then you know this world be this earth will be heaven very soon inshallah i do believe in this because the pain uh, we felt and the pain we are suffering we are going through nobody else can feel it Yeah. we can never be in the shoes of those parents we can never be in the, their shoes the a day and night they are spending with their kid if i talk about my brother he he is autistic plus uh, he has epilepsy as well yeah. so all the sleepless nights which my mother has you know gone through all those nights and all the miserable days i can never imagine because that was her own pain yes yes i can play a very little part but the success is on her part that's true that is not my success that is her success because she was a banker she was a working lady and uh, we were four we were four uh, you know brother and sister and she she has lived a very very hard life very hard life and the people who have now opened uh, different centers in lahore uh, there is a very big question mark from my side that when my brother was of you know that age and they were very young and they were practicing in their own field at that time why didn't they diagnose him hmm. and now when i see them in this way that he has opened the school and she has opened the school those schools are useless for me hmm. i'm sorry about this yeah. because this is a very i know very rude kind of statement but I that know. is a truth <laughs> that is a trust thank you thank you for sharing your heart and the smile and the smiles on uh, on their faces that is real i can make you smile 
mm-hmm. i can you know i can do your buttering and um, i can uh, say something good about you and you can you know pass me a reciprocal smile to me but their smiles their smile matter a lot because that is a real smile which you are giving on their faces that is not fake thank you so in your viewpoint uh, in general we will talk about all kinds of parents what is missing in parents nowadays other than not spending time with their children what else giving gadgets you talked about that you said more time it means they are not spending enough quality time real time right what else can you say or suggest and tell the parents what can they do to save their children sure if we talk about um uh, see if we talk about our own time then there was a bonding between the neighbors and us mm-hmm. see uh, there was more joint family systems now the families uh, they are more into nuclear family system so this is i think a very you know something uh, that is missing nowadays mm-hmm. because all the you know stories of grandma or the stories of grandpa and all the time spent with our grandfather grandmother mm-hmm. and you know aunties and khalas and mm-hmm. uh, those all things are missing so you your uh, parents are in in pakistan fighting. sorry your parents and your in-laws are in pakistan yeah, are in okay pakistan. so but not living with yeah, you yeah they are in pakistan hmm. no they are not living with us they are in um, a different city okay oh different city okay okay so do they visit do you visit them yeah we visit them very frequently <laughs> okay okay That's because i told you that my brother was here with me and he was taking his therapy and my mother was living with me and um, that was a, again a very long journey how did we potty train him and mm. each and everything because mm. they are still at the age of 16 70 he was not potty trained at yeah. all yeah oh, that's a challenge so she that's was true. living with okay yeah. okay So that's good that your children at least uh, had some exposure of your your mother grand yeah. parents and all but yeah you are talking in general that is missing that bigger picture what yes. they get uh, of course there is you your husband and your two kids mm-hmm. for example mm-hmm. if i talk about myself that in this house i am living with my husband and two kids so whom they are talking you know other than me and other than my husband there is no one they can talk to each other still they need some company they still they need some time mm-hmm. that's true that's true there are a lot of things that they have to share with their their cousins there are a lot of things they have to share with their age fellows mm. anything else before we move on to out of this parenting uh, section one more thing uh the parents are the best therapist for their children not even 100 therapist can be alternative of you you have to work for your children yourself you are the best speech therapist you are the best aba therapist and you are the you know you are everything for them okay so pay attention to yourself <laughs> yes okay 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 sometimes i think about myself that you, as i have discussed that nobody is perfect i am not perfect at all mm-hmm. there are always very flaws in my own personality so i have i have to work on that too yeah so the, how so do you, you self care uh, put the pressure on to work on your children yeah. you cannot say oh uh, today i am very tired you know my feel that is very hectic yeah um you have to be very energetic you have to be very enthusiastic you have to be very passionate if you are in this feel so if i talk about myself there are days when i am very down hmm. but then you know i have to cheer up for my kid that i have to hmm. you know spare time for them too and i have to take them out and i have to spend time with them how do you take care of yourself meditate hmm. myself <laughs> meditate i do breathe see breathing exercise yeah. oh you do that yeah, meditate wonderful myself. very nice very yeah nice. i do that and uh, deep breathing exercise and sometimes very slow and sometimes very fast music for me oh wow what type of music uh sometimes very fast music mm-hmm. um as uh, i feel that uh, today i am very uh, hypoactive kind of <laughs> and um, sometimes i feel that i am very hyperactive 
so that depends on my mood okay. how i am today okay okay very good do you walk do you But exercise today i have less that uh, i have you on, online with me yeah i do walk Uh-huh. um i do exercise uh-huh. um but not in early morning yeah. but at uh, early night oh okay when my okay. kids go to bed after oh, that oh wow so you do the responsibilities you all done and then you take care of yourself uh, do you eat it, healthy uh, sorry only a cup of tea hmm. that is a kind of a refreshment for me okay do you eat healthy yeah i eat healthy and in healthy food i prefer pear and apple Oh. that's the you know health very healthy food for me okay. pear and apple okay okay um and people are of the view that what is the combination of apple and a pear and i said i don't know what is the combination <laughs> but i like it so that's why i like it <laughs> okay okay so do you uh, th- is there a special diet that you uh, do you serve uh, lunch or dinner it just uh, came to my mind for your children uh, do you suggest the parents for a diet also is there a healthy diet for only the children only homemade okay. only homemade yeah okay, okay. um uh, like uh, my uh, son he is very fond of you know junk food shawarma and roll paratha and uh, <laughs> burger and sandwiches so i uh, prefer ke to make uh, over the weekend um, all kind of stu- you know stuff and i just um, freeze that and on other than you know weekends on the weekdays i just um have a very short time and um, you know you can understand very well mm-hmm. being a working lady mm-hmm. so i have to just uh, serve them very quickly and i have to fry everything and give it to them yep, yep. but oh, wow. uh, only the satisfaction for me is uh, um the you know uh, the keema is of beef or the keema is of mutton mm-hmm. and i am serving them very healthy food mm. Okay. Keema is, is keema is that ground is meat. Biggest, uh, yeah. For people uh, do, yes. who don't know what is keema, yes. it is ground meat or ground beef or ground uh, mutton. All right, let's move on to uh, what do you like about yourself? I smile a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that is Without good. <laughs> do you think that or have people told you? no people told me actually because when they noticed my you know my dimples they always appreciate me about that and uh, every time when i smile they tell me that uh, you have three dimples <laughs> and uh, i said to them yes yeah. just say them yes this is uh, a gift from my father and uh, this is my god <laughs> <laughs> very nice yes you have a good smiling face very nice thank you um anything you would like to change about yourself i'm very you know my i'm very sensitive kind of person so i want to be a bit insensitive <laughs> that is the only thing i want uh, to change about myself only thing that's it nothing else to do be changed huh you like yourself no nothing okay you yeah, like yeah i like myself okay <laughs> <laughs> that's good uh, it is not that i am a self centered person it is a, a kind of thing that um i think Uh, every person has some positive and negative aspects in everything of the personality uh, but um, yes i want to be a bit insensitive okay okay little more thick skinned little uh, less uh, taking everything to the heart huh hmm. Hmm. yes hmm. and um, having trust on, uh, on everyone everyone <laughs> okay that's a pure heart there's another story as well okay. i will tell you the story in detail some other time okay sure sure we'll talk about that uh, what is your definition of uh, failure and success failure and success if you believe that you will do it you will do that okay because uh, i have continued my study with my kids i have you know um have my credential with my both kids uh, when i went uh, for my uh, credential and when i went for my exam to abu dhabi my both kids were with me okay. that was my success because mm. i thought about that and i have achieved my goals mm. and failure is just a fear nothing else a fear uh-huh. that you will never do it mm. or so, you can't do it that's a failure what is your best relationship uh best relationship uh being a teacher and uh, being a mother 
maybe i am not a very good wife but i am very good mother and very good <laughs> i know <laughs> that's nice thank you for <laughs> your honest answers <laughs> um i'm thinking that there was uh, we have already passed uh, an hour so i would say i'm coming to the really? yeah an hour has passed <laughs> okay when you are having good time they say you don't know about the time <laughs> sorry yeah i said uh, it was so lovely to have you here with me and uh, you know i actually didn't realize myself that uh, so much time has passed yes, yes. as you said that uh, one hour has Yes I was like oh it has already been an hour but that's okay we are having good time and this is a rich conversation it's an important conversation okay uh, what is a healthy fulfilling life how can a mother a uh, teacher of autistic children who is in pakistan uh, where all the news uh, people are telling are negative what uh, uh, do you think you how do you manage fulfilling life healthy life because i can see you are happy and doing well Masha. because if there is something that is going to you know uh, distress me and uh, there is something that is making me upset i have only two words let it go <laughs> <laughs> oh that is wonderful it's so important thank you <laughs> and it actually worked in my case it worked a lot in my too <laughs> i will join you there <laughs> yes that's very good uh, as you know when i got married i was uh, 17 years old and um, i was in my intermediate when i got married and i have continued my studies since then and my husband he was very cooperating mashallah hmm. he always cooperate with me very nice um so if i was taking such little things on my heart and i was married into a very big family uh my husband he is a nine uh, you know they are nine brother and sister hmm. so that was not possible for me to survive in such a big family and i was the youngest you know one uh, because my uh, husband he is the youngest of all so that was very difficult for me to survive in such a big family so i have learned one thing let it go wow good suggestion for all the girls and uh, the families there because we have so much problem with the uh, in-laws there so any suggestions yeah, for that any suggestions for uh, that area <laughs> well suggestion for them is the same that people will never change you have to change yourself uh, if you're thinking something bad about someone else that ultimately you are doing something wrong with yourself you will burn your blood you will have a lot of negative feelings within you and it will never you know benefit you it will eventually uh, it is harmful for you so why are you, you are thinking about the people who are not thinking about you just think about yourself do good with them be kind i always emphasize on the word that be kind mm. everyone very nice what is wealth in your experience wealth has your peace no wealth can be an alternative of your peace either that is a peace of mind or that's a that's a peace at your heart hmm. that's the biggest wealth what is gratitude for you what is the importance for giving for giving others giving love hmm. for giving others i never remember even a single moment when somebody has you know they have done wrong to me even that in their case i sometimes blame myself that maybe it was my fault hmm what do you eat and become like this <laughs> and think like this <laughs> i think only one cup of tea a day that's it maybe that's why i'm taking caffeine you know in very uh, small quantity What is the value of time? Time. Well, time is everything. If you will not value time, time will never give you value. Because there is time for everything. Hmm. When the time will pass, eventually you will, you know, hmm. you will have a regret about that. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, do you, uh, are you aware of uh, environment, climate change? Do you uh, uh, use less plastic? Are you aware of environment? If I talk to you about environment, so every person is aware. Every person is aware how harmful plastic is. Mm -hmm. Every person is aware that they are destroying the environment. Every person is aware of they are not go doing good with the environment. But what they are doing and what they are taking step, nothing. Mm -hmm. We have to change our attitudes towards the environment and how you know we can make this world a better place to live. Mm -hmm. But there are schools, there are, you know, NGOs and there are uh, uh, people who are taking an initiative in uh, planting the trees and some sort of other activities like this. Have you found purpose of your life? Yes, my purpose was, uh, my purpose in life was to help others mm -hmm. and my purpose in life was to be a good mother. Mm -hmm. Like my mother was a role model for me. So how she has balanced her life as a working woman and how she has brought us up, um, given us a very good brought up. So I think that, yes. Um, any message of hope? Message of hope. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Happiness is within you. Happiness is within yourself. Whenever you are feeling down, you have to, you know, make yourself to feel Yes, you are yourself. Right. No one is other. No one other is just like you. Oh. And yes, no one other is like me no, in the world. No, there is. I haven't yes. seen my, you know, a copy of myself in the world. I am a masterpiece in the world, yes. and I am the only one. Yes, you're very right. overconfident. <laughs> I mean, no, no, that is true. Also, any message for girls, young girls of Pakistan and the world. Well, yes, there are certain responsibilities that we have in our lives. Uh, being a wife, we have different roles. Being a mother, we have different roles. And yes, being a professional, we have to we have to play different roles. So just keep a balance between mm. all your roles. Mm. That is a key to success. So, uh, Sadia, my last question is: What lights you up? Um, electric bulbs? <laughs> Not that <laughs> only. But what lights you up in your life? What lights you up? What gives you happiness? Of course, there are, of course, there are some conjuring souls around me. Okay. Um, who always pass some positive vibes towards me. And I always feel very, very blessed when I am with them. Okay. So they always light me up. Very nice. And can you name them? Who they are? Uh, they are one is my, you know, biggest brother-in-law. Okay. His name is uh, Atikur Rahman, and okay. he's in UK at the moment. Okay. And um, of course, my mother, my father, and the students with whom I am working with my full heart and my devotion. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, thank you. I want to acknowledge for your. So it was so pleasure to have you here with me. And I have, you know, um, speak up all my heart with you. I shared with you each and everything yes. uh, on a very lighter mood. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. And this should be taken this way. Whoever is listening or watching should take it lightly, should avoid the judgment and just take what you're saying in an open uh, way and welcome it. So, thank you again. We, we shall talk again. Welcome. Allah Hafiz. Bye. Thank you for watching part two with Sadia Atif. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please share, rate, and review, and definitely subscribe. Light up Vichwa. See you next time. Thank you.